In this video, we're going to quickly look at how to turn a vertical uh, unordered list into a horizontal list. And we're going to do this for a nav bar or menu on a web page. So if we have a look at this uh, code, what we have is an unordered list here. And I've given it a class name of menu. And in this unordered list, we have list items and each list item contains a link using the A tag. Okay, so we've got a link to the home page, a products page, support and contact us page. And each of those links are in these list items within the unordered list. Okay, so if we have a look at the page, that's what it looks like at the moment, just a, a plain ordinary list um, with dot points or disks uh, and it's vertical. So what we'll do is turn this into a horizontal menu uh, by changing the list and making the list horizontal. Okay, and we can just do that with a little bit of CSS code. So if we go over to our CSS code over here, um, we need to make each list item go in a line horizontally. So we can do that by saying li for list item and then display inline, just like that. And that's basically it. If we go back after saving the code and refresh the page, we can see that those list items are now in line there, they're horizontal. Uh, there's a little bit more that we should do though, however. So if we just leave the code just like this, that's going to apply to every list item on the page. So we might actually have um, an actual list somewhere else on the page which we want to be vertical and we don't want this code to apply to that list as well. So because we've got a class name for this unordered list, we should refer to that class name here. So we can say dot menu, that's the class name and then list item. And now this is only going to apply to list items that are in the unordered list with the class name menu. Second thing we can do, is if we go back and have a look, there's this empty space over here. The, uh, the list is indented. So if we wanna get rid of that empty space, we can say, uh, dot menu because that's the class name of the whole list or if we only had one list on the page or if we wanted to apply this to all of the unordered lists we could say ul for unordered list and then just set padding left to zero okay so setting padded padding left to zero for an unordered list will get rid of that indentation there on the left if we want to make sure that that's just for uh, this menu only, the, the unordered list with the class name menu and not for all un other un unordered lists that might be on this page, then we would just say dot menu. Okay, uh, and that's basically it. Uh, we might just uh, change the font family for the list to Arial. Um, we might even space out these uh, list items or links a little bit more so we could say uh, padding maybe on the right side of each list item we might say 10 pixels just to space them out a little bit um, and that's basically it and you can go and customize the links from there um, by adding CSS code for the links to get rid of the underlines or change the color uh, and things like that anyway that's it for this tutorial thanks for watching